Hello everyone and welcome back to CJ Explores. This time we're in Litchfield National Park just south of Darwin and we're gonna go and explore some waterfalls, some walks, some lookouts and some termite mounds. First stop is the termite mounds and I'm very excited to learn what these things are. My first guess is that they are cooling towers um, to keep the termites homes nice and cool down underground so let's find out. So the termites they build the mounds facing north to south because if they face it north to south the sun doesn't catch the side and heat up the mounds. That's why they're called magnetic termites and it is just so clever. They use a um, compass in their heads to know which is north to south and scientists tested that by putting magnets near them and they built in a different direction to what they normally would have so very clever. Yeah they look like gravestones it's a bit creepy. I think over there is like a really big one you can go and take photos of but these ones are like flatter than the usual ones we see like more yeah. mounded. These are cathedral termite mounds and these ones are different because they do not face uh, north to west, they're not flat. Next stop for us is Bully or Bully uh, Rock Hole and we have just arrived. Look at that, it is 37 degrees today so super hot, we're keen to get in the water. We have just been playing in the rock pools and it's so nice here. Uh, the pools are actually quite deep so you can jump um, and we brought our goggles too so we have been swimming down, grabbing rocks and walking on the floor of the little uh, rock holes. I've done myself a mischief uh, when we were playing underneath. I jumped off the bottom and cut my foot and now there's a lot of blood. Right, crisis averted. I'm all bandaged up now. We're gonna head back to camp, uh, set up and have a beer. Okay, so we are at Florence Falls two-wheel drive campsite. It's a national park site here um, in Litchfield National Park. Um, and it's pretty good actually. We've yeah. got big open spaces. We've been able to fit two vehicles in one site. Uh, we, you just pay per person. I think it's ten dollars per person. Yeah. Um, but we have showers, uh, there's toilets, and there's like a little sink washing up area, yeah. which is handy. Yeah. So about to make some dinner, and the sun is setting. So hopefully, it'll become a bit cooler. <laughs> Okay, we have just woken up at the Florence Fall two-wheel drive campground um, and we took the drone up this morning just to have a quick look to see uh, where the falls are and they are actually so close. Um, but last night was super nice here. Um, the stars came up, the Milky Way was above our cars and I was trying to take photos of it. I'm not sure how it's gonna turn out, but if it's decent, you will see it. Um, but we're going to go this morning to Florence Falls. It looks awesome down there. The water's flowing quite well. And we're going to go for a swim. So here at Florence Falls, there's two walks. There's one to this lookout and you get this amazing view down to the falls as you can see and then there's another walk and that takes you all the way down to the base. We're going to head down now and we're going to go and cool down because it's probably about 9am now but it's so hot and sweaty and humid. So we're going to go jump in there with those people and enjoy that spot. The steep descent down to the uh, swimming area. Um, but good stairs, good access. 
So as long as you're fit, I think you're able to do this one. And they have rest stops, so on the way back up, you can take a break, which we probably will, because yeah. it's so hot right now. We are leaving now, but that was so much fun. Uh, just what we needed in this hot, hot weather up in Northern Territory. A beautiful, pristine lagoon. It, the water was so clear, there was loads of fish there. Um, lots of good spots to jump off, um, and lots of good spots just to rest in the water, like big rocks that were submerged um, that you could just sit on and watch the waterfall. But yeah, like we said, getting super busy down there now. So we are gonna head off somewhere, probably have some lunch, and then head to the next spot. So 30 seconds up the road is the Creek Day Use area. This is where we'll stop for a picnic. Uh, Charlotte is making some sandwiches. She's in there somewhere. <laughs> Avocado sandwiches and DD are uh, doing saucy bangers. Excuse the sound protection, but it's 36 today and I don't want to get burned, but yes, there's a couple of options here. Um, you can have a walk along here and that goes to the lookout and a viewing deck. But there's also another walk to the creek, but I don't think you can swim here. So we're going to have a see at the lookout, see what it looks like and see if it's worth walking to the creek. So I think if we can't cool off, maybe we'll just stay at the lookout because it is so hot. We're trying to conserve <laughs> our energy and our liquids. Yes, we're reading all the facts, so the reason it's still wet here, even though it's not wet season, is because the sandstone rock here absorbs all of the rainwater during the wet season up here, and then it's slowly released during dry season, which is why we still have some great water holes and waterfalls are still flowing. So yeah, Tomah Falls track, um, the, the water you can't actually swim in and you can do a massive creek walk um, down and around the creek to I guess the top of the waterfall. It's so hot here, I don't know if you guys can tell from the video, but it, the sun is just beating down, there's not a lot of shade, um, the lookout platforms are really cool so we're going down to the second one now to take a look. Yes, this place looks pretty awesome too. Um, you can't go down there unless you're with a guide, it says. There's a bat colony down there that they're protecting. I think if humans were down there, they probably would flee, so their survival rates might plummet. But um, yeah, it looks awesome. It's a little oasis down there. We have spotted an archway over there. I guess it's been eroded over time by the waterfall. But yeah, I can see it just there. So 
Okay, the next and possibly last stop of our Litchfield National Park adventure is Wongai Falls. I think that's how you pronounce it. I may be butchering it. Um, but as we pulled in, the car park is full. There's a cafe here. People are getting some food and drinks and stuff and coffee. There's barbecues here, which people are using, and a nice little picnic area. Um, and we are just heading down to the swimming area now. Falls is epic. I really like it. The entranceway is like picture framed by these two, well it's kind of like a bit of a bush and you come out into the opening where you drop in the water and it's just beautiful. A massive oasis in the middle of the hottest place on earth. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna go out into the water and I can see some people climbing on the rocks. I'm gonna go and join them. And Charlotte is gonna chill. Chilling! Awesome, I really enjoyed that. I was able to get right up next to the waterfall. There was even a little part where you could like, have a little pool in the bottom, and then there was a part where you could climb right up um, and overlook the whole lagoon. It's huge in there, really impressive. Um, and some little short, short walks around there too. Where are we up to now? I think that's probably gonna work. Uh... I think that's probably where we're going to end our time in the field, don't oh. you think? Yeah, okay. <laughs> and I think we're going to head back out and we're going to go to a lake, Lake Bennett at the Lago Resort. Yeah.